Have you ever touched the Berlin Wall? I never had either until just now. Been sitting here in sitting here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Look at that morning sun. So I'm outside of the Badlands. It's about 7.15 in the morning or so. And I gotta admit, I'm prairie dogging it. If you don't know what that saying is, I'm not gonna tell you. But not that kind of prairie dogging. Check this out. This is the largest prairie dog in the world. And that could only mean one thing. I'm at a prairie dog farm. I guess it's a prairie dog farm. And these things are everywhere. These cute little prairie dogs are all over the place. We're gonna check it out. So that little yelp that they make actually is considered a bark. How cute is that? There's a couple of them out. I think it's maybe kind of early, but I guess they like peanuts. There's peanut shells everywhere. Oh, they're cute. They look like little groundhogs. <laughs> Did you hear that? How funny is that? <laughs> so these prairie dog holes are everywhere. They're all over the parking lot. They're next to the signs here, next to the road, next to the signs here. Look at these things. They make like, they're like mounds. So they dig up and they make these mounds I and mean, they live in here. Some of them are pretty deep too. They go down pretty far. How adorable is this? Let's see if one of these guys will eat from my hand. <laughs> this is incredible. Look at this guy. Look how cute these guys are. Look at this, look how cute they are. How adorable is this? So I'm entering, this is actually the outskirts of the Badlands and I'll be in there. You can actually see them way off in the distance there. Pretty excited for this. My windshield's dirty as usual. Check this out. Nothing I've ever seen before. I mean, I've been here before, but. Very cool here. Look at this. Oh man. Wow, this goes up. It's incredibly steep on either side. You can hike this all the way up. It's like a spine. This is not for the not for the fear of, not for people with fear of heights. Look at this, it's like a roller coaster it goes back down. Good thing I have my hiking shoes on. I always seem to forget those. This is like, man, you could fall down into there. Look at that. Whoa. This is crazy. Look how far down that goes. It goes down probably 10, 12 feet. It's hard to see it. Wow. I'm telling you, this, this camera, it just doesn't do it justice. This is one of those places that you need to come and see for yourself. It is incredible here. Look at these guys just roaming around. Amazing how easily they can climb up that. They're just hanging out this morning. Some of those rocks out there are, they have like a purple color. Some of them are yellow. It is really interesting. Look how far down this goes. And this stuff crumbles like, uh, you know, it's, it's as brittle as crumb cake. I mean, it just falls apart in some areas. Amazing. 
this kind of gives you a much better idea of what it's like hiking on these things. This is insane. Look at the, it's like a winding spine. If I lived back then, during when the settlers were here and the Native Americans were here, I would totally have my house down in here somewhere in this maze. It's like a, it's like a rock labyrinth, the total labyrinth. Look, it just keeps going and going and going. This is definitely cool. I could do this. I could live here. <laughs> I could live out here. So my next destination is uh, about eight miles or so down the road. And uh, it's a pretty amazing place. It's been there forever and it's a, it's a must. So here it is, the wall drug dinosaur, 80 feet long. This thing is pretty cool. Right on the side of the highway here. So the story goes that um, Wall is located on Highway 14. And in the 1960s, when Highway 90 came in, it was a major thoroughfare and nobody was taking 14 anymore, which means there wasn't a lot of traffic coming into Wall. So they had this amazing dinosaur built sometime in the late 1960s to attract more people. I think it probably worked. It would attract me 80 feet I think it's 80 feet long and 50 tons. Pretty, pretty heavy structure. They left the tail. The tail hangs out of the fence. It's kind of funny. This is more my style. This kind of stuff is definitely more my style. All right, All right back on the highway, heading west. Got about four hours to go. So I made it to Rapid City, South Dakota, and uh, taking a quick stroll down Art Alley, down the Art Alley, there's like a weird loophole in the state or in the city, and it allows graffiti here. They can't, I guess the city can't do anything about it. It's basically what they call a free wall, and anybody can come here and, and do this graffiti. As usual with graffiti, some people think it's art, some people think it's vandalism. Um, I think probably a little bit of both here, but uh, there's some really cool stuff, really clever murals and graffiti tags. Looks like John Lennon, David Bowie. Some of the stuff is really, truly beautiful. Some of the other stuff, not so much. It's funny to see a lot of people, like especially older people, uh, that are walking by the main streets, like kind of behind me. And uh, they kind of look in and they're like, what? They're a little confused by this. Some people venture in here and look around and they just, I guess it just depends on what kind of person you are. If you like it or not, I, you know, I don't know. You have to wonder, how the heck do they get up so high? Those, that orange one up there is probably 15 feet high. I guess they're standing on dumpsters doing that. It's too bad nobody's doing anything today. So I have one more place to see in Rapid City before I go. So I'm gonna go there right now. So my final stop in Rapid City, South Dakota is this amazing monument right here. This is actually a section of the Berlin Wall. 
sitting right here. This is incredible. You can see how it was constructed. It has these eye hooks in there, I guess, to move around each piece. And it has this, this area right here where each one would fit into the, to the next. Yeah, so you could see it has the, the indentation on the other side. So they would all fit tightly in between each other. The wall was constructed with this concrete pipe on the top, making it very difficult to grip and thus preventing people from climbing over. Have you ever touched the Berlin Wall? I never had either until just now. I can't believe the history of this place. And sitting here in, sitting here in Rapid City, South Dakota, these tank traps were located between the Brandenburg Gate and Checkpoint Charlie. It's crazy to think that not too long ago, this was still up, 1989, incredible. I can't imagine what it must have been like to live in Germany at that time, to have this wall going directly through the city. I mean, they didn't even care. They went through cemeteries, they knocked down churches. They just put that wall straight through. And it sat from 1961 until 1989 when masses of people took it down. But uh, I'm going to get on the road. Uh, I just wanted to see this. And uh, I have some huge stuff planned for South Dakota and going back down into Nebraska, Wyoming. So definitely, definitely follow me along. Stay tuned for these vlogs. I have some amazing stuff coming out. So my name is Chris, and I travel all over the country checking out amazing places like here. And I'll see you in my next adventure.